Ross, obviously after the FA Trophy win on Saturday, we're going into this game with you know a bit more positivity that we needed, aren't we? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've been positive all of the games, though, even though obviously the results haven't gone our way, but I've, I've been positive and calm and, and, and whatnot, so... Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously the, the 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 win at the weekend helped, even though the performance wasn't wasn't potentially what 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 it what it could be or what it should be. But but like I said, we we got through the next round, and and that's the most important thing. Obviously, Solihull Moors have they have dropped down a bit in their form lately. They've dropped down to tenth, but you know they're they're a really good side. They were right up there last season, and you know as we know, they they did really well against us earlier in the season. So it's it's not going to be an easy game, is it? Nah, and and I mean our form isn't isn't great neither. So um, obviously two teams coming together not in the best form. Um, the um, the the a side who who were flying high sort of at the beginning of the season. Like like obviously Neil's got them playing like really good football, and like, he always wants them to play and play out from the back and whatnot. So like they have a very um, very attacking side, very very good ball possession side. So we we'll, we'll have a good idea how they play, and and, and we'll, we'll sort of we'll, we'll come up with the best game plan and do our best to counteract that. Obviously, uh, we've talked a lot about it over the last few interviews, but Tommy Millard's really getting back to his his best now. You know, we he started f um, from the off um, on Saturday and got a, a lot more minutes in his tank. So is are we pretty much apart from obviously Josh McCoy back to full fitness now? Yeah, I mean, um, uh, there is a couple of knocks, like um, um, Justin's still not 100% fit, obviously Justin Justin was on the bench the other day and didn't quite make the bench, so um, he, uh, he he's someone who's carrying a knock. Uh, Tommy is is back, but, but he's still not up to full fitness, like, like he, he, he is getting um, uh, carefully carefully brought back to sort of like full full fitness. Um, but yeah, other than that, like, we're... we're we're not too bad. We're getting there, and, and, and we've got really, really tough January. Uh, lots of games, lots of lots of games, like in, in, in a short space of time. But so far, like touch wood, like we've we've um, we've done well so far to get to to, to to go to get this far without too many injuries. Obviously, we're we're a young squad anyway within the squad, but there are a few academy players in there. You know, we, we look at Ben Delaney Turner again, almost scoring again when he came on. And Mason Oban coming on for his debut. We've seen Alex McAllister move on loan to to Hartley Whitney. So. In terms of their development, is is that going well? Yeah, I, I mean, I thought Ben could Ben. I feel for Ben a little bit. He he gets two or three minutes with me here and there, and he needs good loan and, and and to go and get some some senior senior football, and and that's something we're certainly looking at. And obviously, it was good good to give Mason and Renault. Mason's done really well in the academy this year, and um, we we've obviously brought brought in some loans like um, and our they're young. Mm. Um, probably, probably one of one of the one of the one of the I don't know what one of the criticisms might be that, that they are young young, young loans. Um, we wanted extra bodies to, to add more competition. We we thought that was really really important. Um, like I've consistently said the start eleven here is is good. Um, we were hoping to get um, another one or two over the line, which 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 might make us a bit stronger. Certainly, um, certainly defensively, um, which which I think I think is sort of much needed um, in the back line. Uh, but the but the other loans have been young. Again, it's the predominant has been for competition. It has been difficult with with obviously we've got a full squad and, and we've got we've spent our budget and whatnot. We've been very clear on that and we have to jiggle juggle some stuff around and and move things around to try and free up some money. So so we're working on that. But like the players we brought in, we think we'll we'll add a bit of competition and, and try and push what essentially is our starting eleven or our generally starting players a little bit harder. Um, to to give them that bit of competition, but also have a little bit of a rotation. But we're we're not under the illusions that we've got a young team and we have to use that young young side to our advantages. And like I think for the club and and, and for the ethos of this club, the ethos of this club historically has been about young players coming through and attacking football. And we've tried to change the style, and and recently it hasn't quite worked. But but we still want to bring young players through and give young players an opportunity. Uh, and that's something like certainly I want to stick to, and I want to carry on sort of the history of the club in the, in this way. We haven't quite quite got there of late but uh, I'm pretty confident that we will, we will get there uh, sooner or later. And obviously one of the, the latest loan is Peter Abenbola. We haven't had a chance to chat about him yet but yeah you got a few minutes on Saturday so what can he bring to the side? Young boy, he's another young boy like he is um, he's a he's a he's a four or an eight he's box to box um, he's tough tackling he's hard working um, he is a, a good player to um, have that will either Come in and work alongside parts in that sort of like holding midfield role. He can press high. He's got a good intensity. I said though he's eighteen. Um, he might relieve a little bit of the a bit if we need to to rotate our rest players in there. But our midfield 
throughout the season has has been depleted. And obviously, we've used players like Ryan, and I think in the past Tommy's been used in there. And we want to get away from that. We'll have another young midfielder coming in, um, which which obviously a lot of people will say they want experience in there. But I think I was saying I was saying to James and James and that we, we've got we've got parts in there who's thirty two, and, and we've got obviously Josh coming back who's like obviously thirty three. Having a youngster like an Ollie or or a Peter or a or, or another another midfielder who might come in, um, in there with them isn't a bad thing. It's good to have 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 that energy and that youth and that sort of like that enthusiasm and fierce fearlessness as well. Like even though we we are a young side, we don't have any teenagers playing in it. Um, certainly when they're getting our start eleven, but like we do need probably if we're looking at experience, we probably need some more experience on the back line. But that's something we. We might look at look at moving forward, um, but yeah, obviously we've got Ollie as well and mm. Jake again, who are two young players, uh, but they're twenty, and they're, they're going to be twenty one soon, and, and and they get to time where that that's not young anymore. Like you look at teams like Arsenal and um, who are doing really well. I think their average. I was looking at the other day, their average age is younger than our average age, which which is mad really. You, know, you look at that and they're where they are and the, the things they're doing on that stage. So youth isn't the end of the world. Um, but I am also I am not 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 deluded in that sense. I do think we need maybe one more experienced body, but it has proven difficult in January. It has proven difficult because they're, they're like I said, they're not cheap. And obviously going back to the league, we we, we struggled for goals against Notts and especially against Dagenham. But on Saturday, okay, at least against lower opposition. But you know, Leyson gave us a good game. They held firm for quite a long time, and we managed to get four goals. So is that something for the strikers to rebuild on as well? Yeah, I think um, like we didn't. I mean, I mean, we look back at probably probably the walking game, but all the way back for the last four games, we haven't created a ton. Um, I don't think we have given away too many chances, but I'm sorry, probably wrong, wrong phrase. We've, we, we have been hard to beat in a sense, but we've given away a lot of chances. Mm. Um, we, the teams have generally not had to work for it to beat us, which has been a really disappointing thing. Uh, but our lack of goals is a concern, uh, lack of chance. I always, I'll, I'll always say, like, if you're not scoring, but you're creating chances... Um, then at least you are creating chances. We, we, we haven't massively been doing that. I thought we missed probably two really good chances, three really good chances against Dagenham, but then they had two or three really good chances, um, and that's probably proven to be the, the big difference at the minute. But like you said, getting four goals against Leeston um, hopefully will give us that little bit of like motivation or, or sort of like uh, positivity to go. Do you know what we can score goals? But Leeston, Leeston are two leagues below us, remember and. I would fully expect us, like our players, to be if we're all at it and all on it and all in a good mindset. Uh, that should 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 be a comfortable affair, um, which pro- which wasn't, and that's fair play to them. And probably in the past as well, I've been here like, a number of years to to to, to see us struggle against lower ranked teams. And I can be I'll be really honest, like I wasn't looking forward to it. Uh, it was a, it was obviously a banana skin, and and, and I wasn't looking forward to the negative sense. They're just not nice, not nice games. And, and like I said to you after, I didn't massively enjoy it. Because there's such expectation to get through, and, and obviously they're not a bad side to get that far. Um, but we have struggled against those teams in the past, and, and like I said to the group, like we, we got through, we got through that. So that, that's a that's a positive in a sense. And obviously we're in the fifth round, not the not obviously the quarter final. <laughs> so we're in the fifth round draw, which is which is a good thing. <laughs> Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.